Hi, it's Friday morning. My co-host today is Eileen Smith. The what is that handle that you give yourself? The Godmother of Blab? Is that yes. right? So so we have to really behave. And on that note, Friday weekly wrap up. We know how much I'm gonna behave. The topics are what we've talked about this week. And so real quick, this is kind of a slam dunk. Monday is blog roll Monday. And we talked about blogging basics and blog roll etiquette, things that you do to your blog rolls that make it better and more defined. Some of the places I went and looked and researched in this, they've taken their blog roll and made it into a whole domain. They have a page that goes down. It has a little picture, a description, a link to that particular blog that's in their blog roll. And so the advice on that is bigger might be better. Maybe having that engagement level where you describe what they're on about instead of just having a link to the homepage might be the way to work. And there's a fellow, Andrew Revkin, is a dot earth blogger that works for the New York Times. He wrote a thing about the three best practices for blogging. He says, have a passion. That is, you blog about a subject you know a little bit about that you're passionate about. To have a community and communicate with that community, a commitment to them, and then be patient. Don't worry about if you're blogging too slow. Because if you're blogging well, they'll wait for it, okay? Your audience has the expectation you're gonna give them good content. So if you take a while to get there with that good content, there you have it. It's going to work. It's going to be a winner. On Tuesday, we talked about SEO tips. And the tips that I got, the article came from American Marketing Association. The writer was Christine Berkner. She writes for Marketing News. And she's got some really, really good insights about 2016. You know how we used to say the analytics was going to give you, oh, if you have paid clicks, that's going to really up your influence, right? Well, paid clicks have gone down 55% in the studies that they've done. Influence of anchor text, that's going to be a big win. Well, no, anchor text has went down 49%. The winner, the giant in the jungle, if you excuse the expression, is be mobile ready. That's job number one. Make your site be mobile ready. Seems to be the stock and trade because so many people are going to these mobile phones and the wearable devices and whatnot. So making your content mobile ready is going to help it in SEO ranking. And who doesn't want to have bad ranking? Well, that's your competitors, we hope. I did a real quick thing about Apple's podcast interface. The Podcast Connect website is the new way that Apple and iTunes especially interfaces with your podcast. So make sure that you're listed in that directory and you'll be much happier than you would be. The Apple iTunes is the place to be listed um, then I put in a little quick blurb about uh, Google's mobile ready test. It's part of the, it used to be called Webmaster Tools. Now it's called Search Console, but there's a link there that you can put your URL in and say, is this mobile ready? And they'll say, yes, it is. Congratulations. I will say, no, it's not because the text is too small or the links are too close together. Whatever makes it not be their parameter or their measure of mobile ready, they'll be identified in that. Wednesday, for the lack of a better way of saying it, is none of the above is the topic. And so we gave it a name, called it The Mind. And that morning, Wednesday morning, Fraser Ramsey, you know the shout out section of the show when I always shout out to Edinburgh Dusters, the company that likes to clean. Well, we were talking about image dimensions and how important social media and keeping track of how the sizes change and whatnot. So on Wednesday's show, we made a new graphic for the Cook Report via the Edinburgh Duster's hand. And I simply put that up in the, the link on the, the blog that says, what do you think? There's the show notes for that Wednesday. We basically looked at that blog post in terms of did Fraser do a good job on the graphic. Yesterday, I talked about B2B social media strategy versus B2C social media strategy. I basically plagiarized a graphic infographic, excuse me, from Sprout Social, because they did a good job. They, they talked about all the ways that B2B works differently than business to consumer. And by identifying those and getting me to quit saying 
business to computer consumer. Because B2C, I've always talked to people that have a computer. So I just, that started falling out of my mouth. I'm sorry for that. And the checklist at the bottom of the infographic is what I want to draw your attention to. Successfully target your specific audience. Use more than one social media platform. This is for your B2B. Don't just go with LinkedIn. Use the other ones too. Publish content that's relatable to your audience and your industry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's three other tips, and I won't read those to you, so that'll give you a reason to go and look at those show notes. And these will be on the cookreport.podbean.com. I'll have a link to this collection. And that's what's going to lead us to the shout-out times. We'll do a shout-out tips for Edinburgh Desters. Fraser Ramsey gave the graphic that made the whole cook report thing ever happen to begin with. And his link will be in the show notes. If you're needing cleaning done in Edinburgh, Scotland, give his company a call. They're the company that likes to clean. It kind of makes sense. And shout outs to Corinder. His link will be in the show notes as well. And what that company is, Choices UK something. I forget the handle, but anyway, it's in there. And Eileen's link is basic blog, not blogging, like some idiots say, basic blog tips, good collection of information and articles there on how to get started with doing your blog, the interface between your blog and your podcast, things like this, which are audio-based, very good handle to have that available to you. Big thank you to blab.im. They make this whole thing possible by at the end of the show, they provide us with an email that has a link, we hope, to the audio, to the video. At this point, because I do this every time at the end of the show, and and Don at Blab Cafe, I think he kind of expects it. I say those magic words, it's a wrap. <laughs>